Hello everybody, Michelle Kunz here. I'm here to talk about the 2010 ACLS Advanced Cardiac Life Support changes that were made by American Heart Association in October and November of 2010. I'm always excited when this changes in ACLS. Um, you know, it's research, it's advanced care in our patients that are in cardiac arrest or having arrhythmias. And the major changes in ACLS we're actually in um, two cardiac arrest rhythms. One was in asystole, and the other is in PEA. Now, those are both considered cardiac arrest because the patient has no pulse. We are doing CPR. And I think you already know about the high quality CPR, and that's at least at the rate of 100 compressions a minute with the depth of about two inches. So fast and hard, high quality CPR. So I'm sure you've been practicing that already. But let's get back to that ACLS and um, PEA. So asystole is a flat line. So I think everybody knows what asystole is. There is no pulse. There is no current going through the heart. There's no electricity. The group is doing ACLS and we're getting drugs ready. Now the drugs that you're already familiar with is epinephrine, vasopressin and the atropine was the last drug on the list and that was removed in the guidelines. So now what we're doing is we're doing high quality CPR. We're giving one milligram of epi, that's the one to 10,000 solution. We're giving epi every three to five minutes with continuous CPR. The vasopressin is one time only and you know that it is 40 units IV push just once with um, the epinephrine being repeated every three to five minutes. So atropine is no longer recommended in the asystole algorithm. Now PEA stands for pulseless electrical activity. Some of you remember it as electrical mechanical dissociation, which is called EMD. But we call it PEA now, pulseless electrical activity. So in other words, there is a rhythm on the monitor but there isn't any pulse. So we are doing that high quality CPR and just like in asystole where it was epinephrine, vasopressin, and atropine, we, are, we have removed the atropine from the algorithm. So we're doing high quality CPR for PEA. We're given epinephrine, the one to 10,000, the pre-filled syringe, one milligram every three to five minutes, no max of epinephrine, we're giving vasopressin 40 units, IV push one time only, and we're continuing CPR and treating any possible cause of death that we possibly could find on the patient that we're caring for. So in other words, for PEA and asystole, it is epi and vasopressin and no atropine. And the circulation journal, they made mention that they would actually like to see ACLS look more like PALS. And in PALS, we do epi, epi, epi for cardiac arrest. So for the adults, it's going to be epi, epi, epi. We'll try a vasopressin and certainly at a high quality CPR. So thank you for listening. I look forward to your comments and questions about the new guidelines. And I'll be looking forward to telling you more about them. Thank you.